You know, I'm privileged to lead a team of fivefold gifts. Have you read in Ephesians 4? They exist. Ephesians 4 verse 11, it was He, Jesus, who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, some to be pastors and teachers. Not everyone's those gifts. Some He chose, right? But with those gifts comes a grace. And those gifts are different and those graces are different. And they have issues with each other because their gift's different. It's all about the one thing rather than the thing. And so you put those gifts together, good luck. And then you put the graces with those gifts gifts that are God-given, good luck. And then we say it's the devil. We can't work together because the devil. No, no. God made those gifts different and He made the grace for the gift different. But together we can function well if we understand the big picture and the mandate together rather than the individual responsibility of my thing, my... And that's the thing we've got to keep going. What's the big picture God has for us? And look at the diversity of the church and the people here. Some are leading churches, some are not. Some are part of leadership, some are potential. And everyone in this room is a potential leader. Guaranteed. Every person is called to influence people. But as all of us can respond in our way and be free to be ourselves, because if we're not ourselves, we're fake. How many Saul, David's are out there wearing Saul's armor. Why is that in the scripture? Because David was told, put on Saul's armor to go fight this giant. And God said, not a chance. You can't do it with someone else's armor, even in another way. My way for you. We've got to find freedom in our leading people. We're so good at cloning in my way. And this is how you join my church. This is how you lead in my church. I just want to stop saying, not your church. And the more diverse you can be, the more God can use you to impact the diverse cultures out there. So it's not my way, the highway, this is how we act in my church. Not your church, his church. This is what the Bible says. If we're all contending for that, there's freedom here. We can all work together expressing who God's called us to be, but same truth so it's not confusing to the world out there.